Well, what makes him one of the top wrestlers in the world? His low-level shots. For a big guy, you're not used to seeing somebody get as low as he does. And that's what makes him successful. How about for Petriashvili? What's he need to do to bring home the European gold? Stay on the attack where he was successful in Paris and defeating Taha Gul. He got to his offense and was able to finish his shots. He can't look to allow Taha to scramble. So he has to pick up early offense. And I'm paying attention to that left knee. That left knee proved to be an issue in the semifinals. So we'll see. Okay, stop. Some sweat, some water, whatever the case, on the mat. There is the knee that Eric was talking about for Petriashvili. He's looking to reach the top of the podium at the European Championship for the first time since 2016. The reigning European champ standing across that center circle in Taha Ghul. He's won the last two European championships, looking for his third. And what's so impressive about it, if he can okay. win this match, okay. that would give him Ready. seven overall continental gold medals. Incredible number. Contact. Consistency throughout the years. And here Contact. we go. Period number one. Akul in the red for Turkey. Petriashvili in the dark gray with the light blue stripe for Georgia. How are you, action blue? And this would be a welcoming back party for Taha if he was able to pick up this win here because you mentioned the European success that he's had, but last year at the World Championships, as Taha picks up the first takedown, Taha was upset and ended up missing out on a medal at the World Championships, as you mentioned. I mean, he's been the, one of the best in the world for many years, and this is, I think this is trouble for Petriashvili. He gets the one turn off the leg lace, and Akul with a 4 nothing lead, not even a minute into this first period, and trouble brewing for Petriashvili. Slow to get up. And you don't want to have a wobbler against a guy who makes a living attacking low like Agul did right there. And I'm curious how long they're going to allow this match to go on from the Georgian corner. It's not that important. It is, of course, important. But you know there were rumblings that Geno potentially wasn't going to wrestle here. So you think about if they put that in his ear to allow him to not wrestle, and then he comes out here and already gives up four points. How long do you allow it to go on before you say enough is enough? Stationary position, 4.32 to go, first period. Akul with that four nothing lead. Couple of big collar ties. Petriashvili reacting to the initial blow. It's always the reaction that gets caught. Akul came at him pretty hard initially. Two wrestlers with a lot of respect for one another back at it. Red open. Petriash Vili sneaks in that left Action underhook. Red open. So you can't take a peek over at the clock to the right of the action. But Taha has been the aggressor here, controlling the ties. And for Geno, you worry about that knee. How confident is he in getting to his offense? But even this is a completely different Taha than 
we've seen looking back from October, we saw him at the World Championships and then he came to the Ivanya Regan in Krasnoyarsk, Russia, finished in second place, but he still wasn't the same wrestler that we've seen. He did knock off Deng Jve of China, and I say knock off because Deng Jve of China was the returning world silver medalist. Beat him, I believe, 10 to nothing. So he wrestled well, but in that finals, as I mentioned earlier, lost to Kuzraev and gave up two big crotch lifts. So he wasn't back to that normal Taha form. And I think we're finally starting to see it. So I don't know if it was weight was an issue or there was an injury that was lingering, but he's back to the form where he was back in 2016. Yeah, he lost to Kizriev at the Regan 7-3, turned the tables on him in the semifinals, winning 8-1. So certainly appears that all cylinders are clicking. We're one of the biggest superstars that Turkey has had in wrestling, and now the two come face to face. A couple of heavy slaps both way, Petriashvili and Agul, and they tag Petriashvili with an unsportsmanlike, so a caution and a point and a 5 nothing lead. <laughs> I mean, these are two gladiators who have achieved the highest of accomplishments going chest to chest with one another. And I laugh because the referee gets in between them. What a brave soul. I would, let's see. So it was just the one point against Geno. So Taha takes the 5-0 lead. But what was the referee going to do? <laughs> But a win here for Taha would put him against Parvish Hadi of Iran for the second place spot. He still can't jump in front of Deng Jve, who has 59 ranking series points, but he can jump in front of Parvish Hadi for at least the next couple of weeks until the Asian Championships. The most important thing is continue to climb in those rankings. He's fifth right now, so he wouldn't be seated at the World Championships, which would mean Underhook throw by 7-0, now the lead. So if he wasn't seated, then he would just be placed in the bracket. So you need to get in that top four. So it's important that he's gonna be there. Now you just start to think maybe compete at one of the remaining two ranking series events to lock up that top four spot. All at Ghoul right now, and a seven nothing lead. Petriashvili unable to find any type of offense against the European gold medalists in Agul. You mentioned Geno was looking for his first European title since 2016. How many guys can you say have went on to win two world titles before they've reached the top of the podium at a European championship or a continental championship at that? Speaks volumes for the European the past few years. Forty-five seconds to go. Taha Ghoul looking for his third consecutive European championship. Petriashvili really unhappy with those slaps. Again, mouthing some words to his competitor as they re-engage again. Triashvili digs in that underhook. But Agul fins it off like he's pretty much held off every approach, every attack by the Georgian wrestler tonight. Inside seven seconds to go. And for the third straight year, the European Championships have been dominated by Turkey. And Taha Agul at 125. This weight class has been his. Another title for Turkey and a phone call from a 
pretty important person back home. Come to me. And the winner is Saha Akiyori from Serbia. How did you pass up Saha Akiyori from Serbia? Third.